Herzlich willkommen aus der SWT-Arena hier in Trier. Wir stehen mittlerweile kurz vor unserem letzten Heimspiel der regulären Saison, was am Samstag hier in der SWT-Arena gegen Raster Wächter 2 stattfinden wird. Grund genug, um sich so kurz vor den Playoffs auch nochmal mit unserem Headcoach zusammenzusetzen. Das letzte Interview, was wir hier geführt haben, ist ja dann doch schon einige Wochen her. So, Dom, thanks for your time. And uh, yeah, it's been a few weeks since our last interview and a lot of things has happened then, uh, since then. So let's start in general terms. So how satisfied are you with the with team's performance over the last weeks? Well, obviously, um, you know, finishing in first place and securing our home court advantage throughout the playoffs is, is just a really good thing. Uh, we had a really strong finish. Uh, we won some very close games and um, we're back to being, you know, healthy as a group, which is good. And uh, I think it's been working uh, very well and at a very high level. Okay, so like you said, it's it's clear now that we are the champions of the regular season mm -hmm. of the Pro A. So is it for you as a head coach planning the playoffs, uh, is it a big advantage to know that you are the first place? Knowing that we have home court advantage is, 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 is good. Uh, obviously, uh, we're better at home than we are on the road. So, so you know, that's that's the only advantage I see of, of finishing first um, mm -hmm. is having that having that home court advantage. So you already talked about it, our last uh, two away games in Karlsruhe and Düsseldorf were really close games and the team did a turnaround in the last uh, possessions of the game. So what did you give the team in the last timeouts or the, the last uh, minutes of the game to the team? Well, one thing I found is that um, fans or, or, or basketball experts don't give enough credit to the opposing teams uh, when the games are close, like it's because we play badly. And in both games, I don't think we played badly. I think we played pretty mm -hmm. good. Uh, we didn't shoot it well or we didn't rebound well. But overall, we played um, a very consistent, very good brand of basketball. In, uh, in the Karlsruhe game, they, they really had it going on, you know, for three quarters in that game. And, and uh, you know, as we talked about, I, I pulled out every, every defensive system I had, you know, in, uh, in, in my bag uh, to try to give us an advantage to, to win that game. Fortunately, these are situations we practice a lot, um, you know, during our practice, practice days during the week. So all the stuff that we use, the stuff that they were familiar with and stuff that we're going to use in the playoffs. So uh, I was very satisfied. The Carlsville game was, was really a great game. I was really satisfied with coming back in that situation against that team. So uh, the Dusseldorf game, kind of the same type of thing. We really played well the fourth quarter. We executed. We made big plays. And, and we made great decisions down the stretch. So those are all positive things going into the playoffs. I'm talking about the big decision um, in the game, at, at least in the, in the last quarter, last possession. So is it like giving you, the, the players, a hint for the decision, or do you just let the, let the guys play? Offensively, as you know, Jacques is very, very tuned into what we're doing offensively. He's responsible for um, um, the majority of our offense. And, uh, and I'm basically handling defensive stuff And I trust his judgment, and I think the players trust, you know, trust his judgment, and uh, I'm satisfied with with uh, with all the play calls that we made. Usually, there's multiple looks in those in those in those plays. So if one thing is taken away, the players know what the other option is. So you know, we we've, we've we've really executed well down the stretch in in difficult difficult situations, and both offensively and defensively. So it's good. Cool. So you already talked about that you, you focus in the preparation of the games for the last regular season games. Now the focus is totally on us, on our team, on, on the players before the playoffs. So is there a lot, without telling too much, <laughs> a lot you want to, to adapt for the playoffs? No, here's what you're trying to do. From the day one, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to develop a level of consistency, you know, um, a level of physicality, because the playoffs are going to be more physical and our games have been more physical You know, as teams are competing for a playoff spot like Karlsruhe, competing to stay in the league like Dusseldorf, you know, competing to stay in the league like Artland. Mm -hmm. So the physicality of the game is definitely going to be, is, is going to come up. So we've tried to be physical, we're trying to level, uh, develop a level of consistency, and we're working on a lot of small little details that we think will help us be better. So uh, it is preparation for the playoffs, but it's really not that much different than what we normally do. You know, we're trying to be healthy at the end of the season 
and playing our best basketball. And, and at times, I think, you know, we've, we've achieved that. Mm -hmm. So the playoffs are a lot of games in a short amount of time and it's not just physically really hard for the players but it's also mentally. So is there like a different way of mentally preparation for the playoffs that maybe you have good experience with? Well, we've, we try to do that in our practices, okay? So um, we, have, we have pretty competitive practices uh, during the middle of the week. So we're basically almost, they're almost like playing two games a week and now that's going to be added to a third game and uh, our physical conditioning and our mental conditioning are going to be strong, uh, have to be strong. So, so I've mentioned Jacques as, as, a, as an important part of our staff. You know, uh, Reggie is our, you know, strength trainer and our conditioning coach. And uh, he's done a very good job of keeping everybody very, very fit, even guys that don't play a lot of minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he does uh, a very good job of, of our pre-practice warm-up which has eliminated a lot of injuries. So I think our coaching staff, okay, uh, I'm extremely proud of because of what we've done from the very beginning. I mean, we were picked to be eighth or ninth in the league at the beginning of the, of the season by the basketball experts. So what we've accomplished as a coaching staff, I'm, I'm extremely happy with. But more importantly, what our team has accomplished as a group is really special. It's, a, as I've told you before mm -hmm. in other interviews, in written interviews and any time we talk, it's really a great team to coach. They're extremely hardworking and there's no egos and they all, you know, they all want to do well and they all support each other and you can see it in our games when the players are on the bench, they're cheering for the guys that are playing. So it's, it's been a real, you know, a real fulfilling year for me, uh, you know, as a head coach. Yeah, so after the regular season, our team showed that it's like the champion of the Pro-A season uh, for now. But what does it take for a team to be also a really good or dominant playoff team? Being dominant in the playoffs is not easy, <laughs> <laughs> okay, because it's, it's going to be so competitive. And again, as I mentioned, it's going to be so physical. Mm. The, team, the top eight teams are all very, very good. And, uh, you know, there's a few things. I've been on both ends in the playoffs. I've been in the playoffs many times where we've been successful. I've been in the playoffs where we've lost. And uh, the, 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 the big key for, for me is trying to have a balance between mental toughness and physical toughness, okay? Trying to have a mentality of if you go down, it's always the next play. You know, don't get your head down. Don't, don't worry about a 10-point lead with four minutes to go. We've proved that we can still win those games. And it's the, it's the mental strength and the physical strength combined that gives you a good chance. And we've got both of those things covered. The last thing is, and I mentioned it before in, in, in some interviews, there's a certain amount of luck involved. You can only can control what you can control. So if we have a situation where, you know, we're, we're getting a lot of bad calls or there's some stuff going on where we can't control, that can impact us and you have to stay mentally strong. But, but overall, uh, you, you look for mental consistency, physical consistency, okay, and, 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 and you, you hope for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good idea. So um, the regular season is nearly over and it was your first, first pro A season, you can say. Was it like you expected it in the summer when you, when you came here? Um, yes and no. I think the level was a little bit better mm -hmm. in some situations. Um, uh, obviously, it was great having Jacques and... and And, and Reggie, uh, who have great experience in German basketball. I haven't really followed German basketball that closely the 13 years I was in Japan. Mm -hmm. So their insight and their knowledge really helped, helped me uh, understand it and appreciate it. And it's a, good, it's a great level of basketball. It really, it really was fun. There's really good basketball being played uh, in Pro A. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy to have experienced this this pro A season, but obviously I wouldn't mind <laughs> playing at another level next year. Yeah, best is <laughs> coming. So finally, the question uh, who's probably most interesting for our fans out there, how do you see the chances for our team in the playoffs? And is there anything maybe you wish for in the playoffs? Uh, you know, I just wish, that obviously you, you want to play well and uh, you, want to, you want to win as many games and we want to win it. Our players are highly motivated. Our coaches are highly motivated. Our fans, which are 
has proven to be the best. They've come out, they've supported, and um, you know, uh, we, we hope for the best, but I, I, I do know I'm a realist. Okay, good things can happen, bad things can happen, and we just hope and pray that it's more good than bad. So, yes, and is there something else you want to tell all the people listening and watching us? Well, they've heard it before, but I just think it's really important for me to express, um, you know, my gratitude and our gratitude as a coaching staff and as a team. For one, our fan support, which has been just unbelievable, obviously at home. Uh, selling out the arena is something that I just think is fantastic. And, and for those fans that, you know, um, take the time and come and support us on the road. So the fans have been great. Again, I want to thank those guys that have sponsored us, some of the sponsors that came back, you know, to join this, uh, uh, this group and, 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 and help us grow and help us, you know, become better and better. So the sponsors and the fans and overall the, the organization of the Trier basketball. Um, you know, our, our management team has done a great job. Uh, our support staff has been really, really good. And it's just been a real pleasure to have experienced this regular season. And, and hopefully we can, we can make everybody proud with a good, good success in the playoffs. But just a heartfelt thank you from me, my coaches and the team. Perfect. Thank you very much. So, damit schließen wir unser Interview kurz vor den Playoffs, kurz vor dem Ende der regulären Saison. Das ganze Interview könnt ihr euch auf YouTube angucken. Und wir freuen uns natürlich, euch alle in weiß am Samstag in der Halle zu sehen, beim letzten Saisonspiel der regulären Saison, dem letzten Heimspiel der regulären Saison. Im Anschluss bei der Bitburger Fanparty könnt ihr Don und die ganze Mannschaft dann auch noch mal ein bisschen näher kennenlernen, Autogramme und Fotos sammeln. Und wir freuen uns, euch alle wieder in der Halle begrüßen zu dürfen. Bis bald! <lacht>